You know, for many years I played music in the radio industry, and a lot of those years were spent here locally in Beaver Falls at a place called KISS 1067 FM. It was an album-oriented rock station, and I played a lot of Top 40 in Eastern Ohio at WOHI. And there are those bands that you remember for a lifetime, those mega bands, those who could sell out stadiums around the world consistently, whether it was Wembley Stadium or in London, or right smack dab in the heart of New York City. They were always in demand. Freddie Mercury and Queen, the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. Rami Malek has been nominated for an outstanding performance by an actor in a lead role. This is the story of Freddie Mercury Bohemian Rhapsody, Rhapsody, Screen Actors Guild Awards coming up January 27th on TNT. Let me just take you back to when I started to realize that this man was so talented, as was Queen, that they would be talking about them for generations. You know, they were doing the music that we all remember, right? Bohemian Rhapsody, of course, one that stands out. We knew, all of us in the music industry, that they had wide appeal as far as the big show, big stage, big audience. But the genre is what really amazed me. So all of a sudden, just about when I thought I figured Queen's future out, they came out with a song called Crazy Little Thing Called Love. And it reminded me a lot of the rockabilly days of the Sun Records era with Sam Phillips and people like Johnny Cash, people like Charlie Rich, Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins. That's when I knew this man would have appeal that would go on and on and on. So. If you get a chance, Screen Actors Guild, TNT, January 27th at 8. And also, I recommend Bohemian Rhapsody. Rock on, and one for the ages.